Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam. It's Reject here. A uh, little mistake that I made for the NCAA uh, 14 Sim series this week. Uh, when I took pictures of the matchups that I wanted to play, it was before the official top 25. The new top 25 came out. So a lot of the rankings were wrong. And I'm going to say I'm wrong in the beginning of the videos. But they're going to be changed in the titles. Bear with me. I hope it's not that big of a deal for you guys. And enjoy the content. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here. Back with some more NCAA 14 NCAA Sim Series that I got going on here, man. And this week, we got number 18, Oregon, taking on number 10, Washington. Rivalry game, Pac-12 matchup, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of implications here in this game. Um, you can see here both teams are evenly matched. So uh, I'm ready to get to this one. All right, man. So this all right, so if this is one of your first ever sim videos, how we do it is Heisman difficulty, four minute quarter length. We play as both teams' offenses. Unless, you know, the game gets out of hand a little bit, we try to go with the other team, play defense, make a stop, and put them back in the game. But if that team doesn't, but if that team is unable to come back in the game, we switch right back to the other team, and we try to put the nail in the coffin, man. So without further ado, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get to it. All right, man, here we are, uh, Altson Stadium, here in Oregon, packed house, man. Let's get it in. All right, man, Oregon is getting the rock first, man. We looking to come out here, set the tone at home. You know what I mean? Put some points on the board, baby. Let's go. If you guys missed any of the other videos for this week, ooh, nice juke and truck. Oh, my goodness, he's still up. Let's go, baby. What a return. Like I was saying, if you guys missed any of the other videos this week or last week, go ahead, you know what I'm saying, and hit the playlist. Something should be popping up above the video. Check them out, man. We like to have fun in these videos. That LSU-Georgia game was absolutely insane. All right, man, so we got Justin Herbert coming out, trying to lead the charge here for uh, for uh, Oregon. Couldn't even get my name. Can't even get the names right, you know what I'm saying? But here we are. Boom. Nice little triple to start the game. Make him commit. And we find Mitchell. He jukes inside. He breaks a tackle. And he gets hawked down. 19-yard rush to start off the game, baby. Let's get it. Could tell they were blitzing, you know what I mean? But just trying to keep him honest. Thought we can get out of it. Looked like we were in the beginning. But let's go. Let's get some of those yards we just lost. Going right at their, their impact player corner here. Dylan Mitchell making a lot of plays out here today. Back juke we tried. But Dylan Mitchell with a big run and a big reception early on in this ball game. Always fun playing with, with Oregon, man. You know what I'm saying? With the, the jerseys, the playbook, you know what I mean? A lot of fun playing with them. Ah, can you make that throw, Herbert? He's a dot, and we're schooler scores, and they're on the board, baby. Let's get it. All right, so Oregon has Herbert. Washington has Browning and Michael Gaskin as we give him the rock here early. He gets a lot of blocks up front. Come on, make that block for me, 80. Make the block, and I'm going, kid. Come on now. All right, man, the crowd is hype here. You see the squiggly lines, baby. Browning can care less about that. He hits Jones, but he drops the pass. Wow. Like, even when I looked at the play art before the, before I ran the play, I had no clue what the hell was going to happen. That's why I said Oregon's playbook is amazing. It's a lot of fun to use. Hit him up, Herbert. Ooh. He's able to hit him up, and he's stiff arming. Herbert's running hard out here. This roster file is a lot more up to date. You know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. You know what I mean? If you guys missed the video I did for to download the new rosters. Herbert's back, looking for, for an open receiver. Nobody is open. He's going to use his legs. You already know Oregon always has a quarterback that can do that. He picks up the first. Jukes people out of their shoes, baby. 16-yard rush. Second and seven here. Oregon is definitely threatening again. You know what I'm saying? Second and seven. Let's get it. Boom. Running this option. Somebody's going to have to commit. We hit Johnson in second, and he picks up a big yardage. Brain fart. This would be a real win. If Washington can walk away with just allowing Oregon to put up to put up three, you know. But if Oregon can put seven on the board, they're in a great spot here early. Receiver again open. Low throw from Herbert. Schooler goes ahead and hauls it in. That's his second catch of the day. So Oregon offense has been on point and it's methodic. You know what I'm saying? It's getting the job done. Don't really want to do a screen. I did want to do a play action, but not a screen. 
Let's see if we can get Johnson the third open here. He's one on one with his man. Herbert makes a good throw. He's too fast, and Johnson the third gets into the end zone. Oregon goes up two scores. One to use Gaskin a lot here, you know, but when you're uh, when you're down two scores, you got to put the ball in the air a little a little bit sooner than you expect it. Browning goes deep to his receiver. He has a step. He underthrows him just a little. Nearly picked off 36 for the for the Huskies. All right, man. Washington needs this first down, dog. The crowd here is hype at Oregon, as you would expect. Big time throw, and he's unable to come down with it. All right, the Huskies have to punt. All right, man. It's early here, and we're going to stick. We're going to stick with the Huskies. Try to play a little bit of defense here. You know what I mean? Like I said, we want to keep all the games close. It's a screen. Oh, he over. Wow. What a hell of a catch from Tony Brook James. They lose five yards on that play because he had to throw it up high. But wow, that, I'm more amazed with the catch. All right, man. We need a first down here. I mean, we need a stop here. Excuse me. Picked off Murphy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he knocks it loose, though. Way to, way to you know what I mean, recover. Because I was in position to make a play. Didn't get an animation, though. All right, man. Here we go. Third and seven. We need to stop. A big time stop, baby. Let's go. Knock it loose. Johnny Johnson the third makes a big first down catch. Oh my goodness. They're killing us in man and zone. Of course, they go underneath to the running back. Jesus. They're they're eating us alive. I talked about how difficult it was to stop this Oregon uh, offense. And boy, am I struggling, but I get the pick with rap. Big time pick. Can he take it to the crib? We jumped the route. He's getting hawked. Can he break the tackle if anything? Big time play by the Huskies there. That was much needed. They may not score going into halftime, but they prevent the Huskies from scoring. That was huge, man. Herbert kept going to uh, Brooke James out of the backfield, man. So Hap was able to see that. And now he has his team in position to make a play. Make the throw, Browning. He's got a man wide open. He sees McClatcher, and that's six. The Huskies are on the board heading into halftime, baby. That chain of events was huge. All right, man. Washington starts off the second half getting the rock back. They have the momentum right now. You know what I mean? Nice 14-point swing at the end of the half. Good return here would be everything. He's caught from behind. Thought we had a lot of room out of us. All right, man. It wasn't looking too good for the Huskies a minute ago, but uh, now it looks like they can make some noise here, man. Play action. The blitz is coming. We see it. Got to get rid of the ball. Thought we'd be able to escape it. Browning isn't really having the best of days right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? Trying to turn it up a little bit, though. Oh, no, he forced that one, and he gives the ball right back to Oregon. And they're in scoring position just like that. Okay, so Oregon... Okay, so Washington had their opportunities. Now it's uh, uh, Oregon's chance to try to go back up two scores, man. Let's go. Got a receiver wide open up the middle. Dylan Mitchell doing his thing all day today. Washington really having a hard time stopping this offense. Third and six here. Can Oregon pick up this first? He's got a man across the middle. Oh, bad throw from Herbert, though. He's supposed to lead him upfield. Fourth and one. What will Oregon do? All right, coach, coach sends the kicks team out. He wants to get his points, and Oregon goes up two scores. Big return here for the Huskies will be huge. You know what I'm saying? Ahmed has had some decent has had some decent returns, but no, you know what I mean? No, no super big ones. He jukes out there. He has a couple men to beat. He breaks away from one tackle. Eventually brought down 44-yard return. This is probably the biggest possession of the game for Jake Browning. You know what I mean? They kind of know he's passing it, but there's nothing they can do about it. Type thing. He's got a man wide open over the middle. McClatcher once again. Can he get into the end zone? His second one of the day. Washington is right back in this ball game. All right, under a minute here in the third quarter. Justin Herbert is 17 for 19. One of his two incompletions is his lone pick. You know what I mean? Let's see if he can keep it up. Nice little option here. Make him commit. He finds Schooler. Schooler's off to the races. He has a couple to beat, and he's brought down just short of the 20. Oregon is moving the ball once again. Remember, just because they get in the red zone doesn't mean they're automatically going to score a touchdown. They did have to settle for three last drive. Nice little read option here for Justin Herbert. He gets a lot of good blocks up front, and he picks up the first. All right, man, first and goal. Touchdown or bust for Oregon here on this uh, on this part of the drive. Let's see if they can get somebody open. Ah, uh, I see you. Oh, Justin Herbert waits just a little bit too long to throw the ball, and uh, he's brought down. The touchdown was definitely there. 
You know what I'm saying? Receiver was open. Just a little bit too long. A little read option here. Herbert. Okay, Washington plays that perfectly. They're not falling for it. Let's go. All right, man. Third and goal here for, for Oregon. Third and goal here. Will Oregon be able to get into the... Oh, shit. All right, man. You know what time it is. Get your fours up, baby. 17-14 lead for Oregon. They're threatening to score third and goal. Let's see who's going to come out on top in this one. Third and goal. Oregon's thinking about going with the screen. They're pretty spaced out here. They're going to rock with it anyway. They do send a lot of people. They got a man coming untouched, and Brooks James is brought down. Looks like Oregon's going to have to settle for three again. Kick is up, and it is good. Oregon goes up six. All right, man, first and ten here. You know what I mean? Since this is a little bit better of a game, they can finally go back to their workhorse Gaskin. He has a little bit of room at her. Make that block. I really wish you would block for me out there at 19, but Gaskin picks up a first down with a 12-yard run. It's only Gaskin's second carry of the day, but he's made both of them count. Both of them were big runs, man. Let's go. Brown has got one right off the line, and Jones drops another pass here today. All right, man, second and 10 here. Browning clearly cannot trust Jones. You know what I mean? Who does he go to? I know he can tr trust McClaster. He's got a man wide open downfield, and he hits McClatcher once again, and that's going to be his third receiving touchdown of the day. He's the go-to for Browning right now. This has been one of those games, man, uh, with Oregon, you know what I'm saying, let this one slip through their fingers like they did, uh, you know, the Stanford game. Herbert. Safety's got to make a decision. Oh, no, he threw it off his back foot. He was supposed to set his feet. That was a mistake. I definitely thought he set his feet there. Wow, that is a costly turnover. Wow, he was supposed to be set. All right, man, so Oregon's only down one. We're going to stay, stay on defense with them. You know what I'm saying? A touchdown does not mean anything really bad. A touchdown only puts Washington up eight. You low-key want to let them score. You know what I mean? As they pick up a first down on the first play. Still a lot of time, three timeouts. No no real room to panic. That interception was completely 100% my fault. I definitely thought, you know, Herbert was set there. He had, he had a chance to make a big play. But you know what I mean? Mistakes happen. Let's go. It's time to just step up on defense here. Washington's really working on the clock. They're probably going to take it all the way down to like three or two. You know what I mean? Look alive, though. Come on, Oregon. We need you. Oh, they shoot. They look the pass. Get the pick. <laughs> Lenore with a big time pick. Can he house this one? Oh, not going to be easy, but he does get, you know what I mean, back to the 20. Big time turnover for Washington. All right, man. It's a big third down for Oregon here. This is set up perfectly, almost like a storybook. Beautiful read for Herbert. He has. A corner to beat. He hits him up. Give us a block. Herbert holds on to the rock and he gets the first down, baby. Let's go. Still a lot of time left for Oregon. Just had to use their uh, first of three timeouts. You know what I mean? Let's go. Let's get it. It's a big time throw from Herbert. Go up and get it, Mitchell. Whoa, my goodness. That is a dot and a hell of a catch from Dylan Mitchell. We are watching that again. He trusted his receiver. Put it only where he can get it. In the amazing toe tap, he got both feet down there. Wow. All right, man, Oregon is basically in field goal range here. They don't want to start working on the clock too much because they want to make sure they get in a comfortable spot for their kicker. Nice, easy read of Brooks James. He hits a couple people up, short of the first down. Oregon is going to hold on and save their timeouts here. You know what I mean? I guess they're, they're definitely going to try to ice the Oregon kicker. You know what I'm saying? But Justin Herbert is leading this team. He's doing what he what he's set out to do. Nice little read option. He gets lit up there. Third and three. All right, man. Oregon coach wants us to come out and pass here. Third and three. Big time opportunity. Herbert's going to pick this up with his legs. They they covered everybody. They forgot all about Justin Herbert. Is he going to get in the end zone? He's just short. Oregon's going to call a timeout. They don't want to leave anything to chance. They want to get in the end zone. First and goal on the inch yard line. Justin Herbert and company. Running the read option. Easy read for Justin Herbert. He's going to walk into the end zone untouched. All right, man. Oregon going for two here. A chance to go up a full touchdown. You know what I mean? You got to think if nobody's open, Justin Herbert's going to use his legs. They play his own. Nobody is open. Herbert is running it in himself, and they pick up the two points. All right, man. 21 seconds left for the Huskies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they've been getting decent returns all day from Ahmed. They're going to need an even, huge, even bigger one right now. 
Hits a couple people up. Oh no, if he could have got to the outside, there was a chance. All right, man, so Jacob Browning in this, in this offense has been able to strike quickly today. It's a packed house. Can McClatcher come through here? Ah, uh, he's open. Get it out there, Browning. He he lets it go. He hits McClatcher, but he steps out. Ten seconds left on the clock for the Washington Huskies. McClatcher has played absolutely insane in this game. All right, man, ten seconds left for the Huskies. You know what I'm saying? Oregon is playing very, very, you know, cocky. One-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Thrown short. I don't even know why Browning thought he could trust Jones here. I would not trust that man. All right, man. So, five seconds left. Oregon, I mean, watch this. Washington Huskies call the timeout. This is the last play of the game, baby. Let's go. He's got one. He's got a man. It's McClatcher again. Who else? And the Huskies are an extra point away from tying this ball game up. Oregon's defense lets them down. They're trying to ice the kicker on the extra point. The kick is up. It is good, and we are heading into overtime. All right, man, so Oregon wins the coin toss. They elect to be on defense first. It's all on Washington, man. Let's go. Browning has nobody open. He does, but he's going to run it himself. He doesn't get tripped up, and he gets out of, bound after, out of bounds after picking up the first down. These simulation games have been lit. You know what I mean? Except for the, the Wisconsin-Michigan game, the other two this week have been crazy. Big throw from Browning, and he's almost picked off. He took a chance there. It was a gutsy throw, but it almost backfired. All right, man. Second and 10 here for the Huskies. McClatcher on the outside. He's been beating his man all day. And who else did they go to over the middle? McClatcher in Washington gets in the end zone for six. All right, man. So I was talking about how crazy the LSU and Georgia game was, but that kind of has nothing on this one. This game has been absolutely insane. Oregon has to score here, dog. Justin Herbert trying to hold it down with his legs. Come on. There we go. Brooks James, we needed you to cut back there, baby. All right, first and goal for Oregon after one play. All right, man. So what is Herbert and company going to pull out here? They got four downs to try to get into the end zone. Let's go. They are at home. He's got a man. Oh, pass interference, Rev. That is definitely a P.I., yo. All right, man. So the first pass play doesn't work. Washington is real spread out here. Oregon's going to try to keep it on the ground. Brooks James doing what he does best, and he gets into the end zone. What a run. All right, man. Oregon is right back on the uh, offensive side of the ball. Second overtime here. Looking to get back into the end zone. Herbert forces a throw, and it is picked off. Oh, my goodness. He was supposed to really throw, make that throw and get it up out there. He threw it too low, and it got picked, man. All right, man. So this game right now is all but over. You know what I mean? Washington is already in field goal range, one would think. But they could also turn the ball over. Brown is trying to use those legs. He gets out, and he holds on to the rock. He's not down yet. He gets up and picks up the first. Let's go. We're not going to take the cheap way out. We're not just going to settle for three right here. We're going to try to put it in the end zone. You know what I'm saying? I really thought Herbert was going to be able to make that throw. We go to Gaskin. He's doing what he's been do what he does best. He only has like three carries, man, but each one of them things are going over 10 yards. Averaging 17 yards a carry. Here, first and goal, man. Washington, if, once the if they pull this out, they came from a long way behind to win this ball game, and that's going to do it as Gaskin gets into the end zone. What a game. This thing was an instant classic, dog. Like, nothing short of it. Absolute amazing game. And that's going to do it, man. The clock hit triple zeros. This is the final score. Washington on the road pulls out a huge, huge, huge come from behind victory. This was a super fun game to play, man. Like, I really, really hope you guys enjoy this one because this was amazing. All right, man, so going over these game stats, Jake Browning, 9 for 18, 277, five touchdowns, two picks, 50% completions, 30 yards of completion, 65 is his longest of the day. For Oregon, Justin Herbert, 21 for 27, two touchdowns, three picks, 77 completion percentage, 10 yards of, of completion, 27 was his long, and he was sacked once. On the ground, Justin Herbert, 15 for 102, a touchdown. Uh, Tony Brooks James, 7 for 37 and a touchdown. And a couple others chipped in. For Washington, Miles Gaskin, 4 for 54. I think I kept calling him Mike. My bad. You know what I mean? And a touchdown. The game-winning touchdown. Jake Browning, 3 for 26. No touchdowns. Receiving, 
for uh, Washington, Chico McClatcher, six catches, 260 yards, five TDs. He caught all five of Jake Browning's TDs. This dude was a beast. He's only 5'8", but he kept finding ways to get open. Miles Gaskin, two for three. Aaron Fuller, one for 14. And this dude, Ty Jones, dropped two big passes that pretty much almost cost the game. For Oregon, Tony Brooks Jr. led the team with eight catches, 52 yards. Dylan Mitchell, six for 102. Neither one of those dudes scored. After that, Hines with two. John, uh, Johnny Jones Johnson with two. Uh, Schooler had two catches and a touchdown. And Jay Red had one for five. Defensively for Oregon, defensively for Oregon, Amadi led the squad in tackles with three, all solo. Um, a lot of onesies and twosies tackle-wise out here, but it was a lot of offense, so you can only imagine there wasn't that much tackles. No tackles for loss for Oregon. The two picks were caught by Justin Hollins and uh, and Dion Ma- and Dion uh, Lenore. Big time pick for him in the end zone for Oregon to go down and score, but it was just a lot of amazing plays in this game. And for Washington, their leading tackler was Miles Bryant, corner, junior cornerback, 13 tackles, 12 solo. You know what I mean? Uh, after that was JoJo McIntosh and uh, Ben Bur- Ben Burkirvin and Taylor Rapp. You know what I mean? With six tackles, um, Washington was able to get two, three, four, five, six, seven tackles for loss. They were also able to sack Justin Herbert one time. There was three picks caught for them. One was from Brandon McKinney. The other Miles Bryant to, uh, you know, pretty much seal the game in overtime. And then one of the biggest interceptions and plays period of the game was the Taylor Rapp pick in the red zone right as Oregon was about to score, you know what I mean, heading into halftime. This was an absolute amazing game, and I really hope we can get a game this good like this tomorrow. And I really hope we can get a game like this this good today. You know what I'm saying? Um... It's just been a pleasure, and, like, this was a lot of fun, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. My daughter is just stomping away upstairs.